kids, my name's Alyssa and this is week seven of our series called Faith, Hope, and Love. This week, I we are back. We are back in person and I'm pretty sure Farmer Ford is back from his farming conference, but he's late. So now I'm getting kind of worried that he's not back already, but I mean, I guess yeah. Oh, Farmer Ford. I'm back. You're back. I'm back from the, the thing I was at. The, the farming expedition. It was so fun, but I'm glad to be back here. We're glad to have you back. <laughs> Man, now that I'm back with you guys, I'm back on my farm. Yeah. And it is good to be back on the farm. Man, can I tell you how much I love my farm? I would love to hear about it. My farm is the greatest farm in all of the land. I love it so much. I just get to see all of my plants grow, the watermelon, the soybeans, the corn. From when I plant them in the crops from day one, I get to see them raise up to be big, tall plants. All my animals that I've got, they're so cute and so fun to be around and play with. And my tractor, it takes me everywhere. And I just love my farm with all the things it's got on it so much. Wow, it sounds like you really put a lot of your heart and soul into your farm. I do, I do. I love to do that. That is so, so cool. You know, what is actually the difference between your heart and your soul and your mind? Well, Alyssa, put your hand over where you think your heart is. Um, right here. All of you watching, do it too. Put your hand over where you think your heart is. Okay. Well, I think it's on my chest. That's right, right? Yeah, good. Now, what about your mind? Oh, in my head. Good. Now... Where is your soul? Oh, that one's harder. I don't know. You're right. Put your hand on the bottom of your shoe, which is the sole of your foot. Oh, I get it. That's funny. That's funny. Good one. Good Thank one, Farmer Ford. Yeah, and it's not really where our soul is, but it's what will help us remember. Now let's all flex our muscles to help us remember our strength. Love it. Love it. I see now. So the heart is about feelings and our soul is who we are, our nature, and our mind is our thoughts and actions, and our strength is our effort and energy. That is exactly right. Well, this is perfect because our big word for today says these exact things. Friends, when you're watching, I want you to follow along with the actions that we just did based on this verse as we read it again. The verse is Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your strength, with all of your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. I love that. That's awesome. In this verse, Jesus is telling us to love God with everything that we are. Yep, and to love him with our feelings, with our being in nature with our thoughts and actions, and with all of our strength and energy, love God with everything. You know, this reminds me of a man named Daniel from the Bible. I love Daniel! <laughs> me too! I've actually invited a 614 teacher, Leah, to read the story of Daniel from Daniel chapter 6. Let's go! <laughs> all right, let's do it. Daniel loved God. Daniel would pray to God every single day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and again at night, Daniel worked as a helper to the king of Babylon, King Darius. He liked how helpful and clever Daniel was and gave Daniel important jobs to do. The king's other helpers were super jealous of Daniel and wanted to try to catch him doing something wrong so that they could get him into trouble. They knew that Daniel put God first and prayed every day. So they convinced King Darius to make a rule that no one is allowed to pray to anyone except the king. The king said, no one is allowed to pray ever, except if they're praying to me. If anyone gets caught praying to anyone else, you will be fed to the lions. How crazy is that? So Daniel put God first. He loved God with everything. Daniel knew he was going against the king's new rule, but he knew it was wrong to pray to anyone other than God. He had to do what God said, no matter what happened. So Daniel kept praying every day. King Darius' helpers caught Daniel praying, and they raced to the king and said, King Darius, do you remember how you made the rule that if anyone prays to anyone other than you, that they will be fed to the lions? Yes, said King Darius. 
They said, well, Daniel's praying to God and not to you. Doesn't that mean he has to be fed to the lions? The king realized that he had been tricked, but he had to stick to the rule that he had made. He didn't want Daniel to be hurt, but he had no choice but to follow through on the word and the order that Daniel was to be fed to the lions. The king hoped that God would rescue Daniel. The king went back to his palace, laid in his bed, but he couldn't sleep at all. He tossed and turned, but he was wide awake, worried about Daniel in there with the lions. As soon as the morning came, he raced to the den where Daniel was with the lions and called out, Daniel, are you okay? Did God save you? And out from the lion's den, Daniel replied, Yes, God sent his angels to protect me. The lion's mouth stayed closed and they didn't hurt me at all. Not even one scratch. The king was so happy. Daniel was safe. Daniel had put God first and had done the right thing. Daniel loved God with everything he had. And the king then declared that God was the one true God, that the God who Daniel served is a powerful, loving savior and a rescuer to his people. Wow, that was so amazing. I am so glad that Leah came and read for us today. Yeah, I agree. That was awesome. So I want to have a little competition with you and the praying flower queen. I actually invited her to come a little bit earlier. What do you think? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hi, praying flower queen. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Well, thank you for coming to play this game with us. Yeah, I am so happy that I get to be a part of the lesson today. Are you guys ready for a little competition? I think so. I'm really competitive, so I'm here for it. <laughs> okay, first, I want you guys to run to the back of the room, touch the wall, and then run back. Ready, set, go. <sighs> that was good. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. good. Now, I want you to do it again, but this time, whoever comes back first wins a free, wait for it, Trip to Disney World. Disney World? What? I know. Oh my prize. gosh. Huge prize. I've Huge always prize. wanted to go. I know. Really big prize on the line here, guys. You got to You got to get All it. All right. I'm going to beat you this time. Are no. you ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready, set, go. Whew. Wow. You guys put in so much effort. Oh, man. It. Okay. Okay. That was a so, long run. So, yeah. So, how much effort do you think on a scale of one to ten did you give on the first round that you ran with no prizes i definitely did not try super hard probably about a five i would agree i definitely could have ran faster the first time interesting okay and how much effort on a scale of one to ten do you think that you gave when there was a huge prize on the line I tried my very hardest. Me too. I knew I had to win. You guys gave 100% effort. 10 out of 10. When you knew that you could win this big, big prize. And you know what? When we love God with all our heart and all our soul and all our mind, does this mean that we only give 5 out of 10% effort? I see that. Oh, yeah. We should love God with 100% of ourselves, with everything that we are. Yep, giving everything is showing your love for God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all of your mind. It shows in the choices you make, the things you think about and dwell on, and it shows in how you treat others. Wow, Alyssa, that's awesome. Well, thanks for allowing me to do that, but I gotta go tend to my flowers. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'll see, see you later. later. Well, that was really nice of her to come do that little competition with you. Yeah, that was really fun. Really fun. Well, this leads us into our main points for today. Can you tell everyone point number one? Sure can. Point number one, loving God is the greatest commandment. When Jesus was on earth, he spent time teaching people about God's love. One day, some important religious leaders were debating about all the laws that were in the scriptures they followed. That's true. They were arguing about which rules were the most important and they asked Jesus to give them an answer. Maybe they were expecting Jesus to tell them that the most important law was something like keep the Sabbath holy day or do not steal. Yeah, that makes sense. Remember the 10 commandments that God gave to Moses 
and the people of Israel? These are the kind of laws that religious people followed. And they even added more and more and more rules to try and keep everyone doing the right things and to keep everyone holy before God. The problem is there was too many and no one had any hope of keeping every single rule. That's right. Jesus came to give us a new way of living. They didn't understand that. They wanted Jesus to tell them which rule was the most important. Yep, and Jesus gave them a new way to see. Jesus told them that the greatest commandment, the most important rule, was to love God with everything and to love others like he would. Yep, just like in Luke chapter 10, verse 27, it says, Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, with all of your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is so awesome. I love doing that. Can you tell everyone point number two? Yep. Point number two, you'll never come second by putting God first. We show our love to God in many ways. We show him we love him when we put him first in our lives. That's true. We can all tend to be selfish and want to put ourselves first doing what we want and going off of our own ways. When you put God first, you don't miss out. He loves you and he takes care of you. Yep. Matthew chapter 6 verses 32 through 34 says, But put God's kingdom first. Do what he wants you to do. Then all of those things will also be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. When you put God first with everything you are, he will take care of you. You never miss out on anything great when you're putting God first. Life with God is an adventure. And when you choose to follow him with your life, your life will be more exciting than you can ever imagine. That is so awesome. Well, that's all I have for us today, Farmer Ford. The praying flower queen. Is she gonna come back? I hope so. I kind of forgot to ask her. Uh, praying flower queen? Oh. Oh! Hello, hi, praying flower queen. It's Welcome me back. Again. Oh my gosh. Thank two you so much day. for coming. Yeah, two times in one day. That's so nice. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, I'm so glad to be back. So, what did we learn about today? Yeah, we learned that we have to love God with all of our soul, our hearts, and our minds. And that's yeah. the greatest commandment. And we've got to put God first in everything that we do. Wow. That's, that's really awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. I will go ahead and pray to end our little time together. How awesome. Does that sound? Sounds great. Let's go. All right. Thank you, Jesus, so much today that we were able to learn about your love and just the importance of putting you first in our life, God. So we just pray that you can remind us of this throughout the week, Lord, and give us just opportunities to do this. So we just thank you so much for just being so present during our worship and um, during our lesson, God. And we just thank you so much. And in your holy name, amen. 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 Well, thank you all for joining us this week. Tune in next week for week eight of our series called Faith, Hope, and Love. Maybe we'll see these guys again. Who knows? Bye. Bye.
Awesome job, guys.